Hey guys, I'm B and this, as you can hear, is my very first video, which is not Hungarian, but rather English, because later on I'm planning to do a series, a multi-language series, on Cube Words, which is a voxel-based RPG, and it's not released yet, but there will be a link in the description. So anyways, uh, this is Guild Wars, uh, the beta weekend to be exact, and I don't really plan to farm or anything, because as I just said, it's a beta weekend, and after three days my uh, character will be off, dead, and buried. I don't plan to forecast the game. It's rather cool, but um, I can afford it, and I'm not really into uh, multiplayer games. So, yeah. Uh, so my plan is to adventure forth and just see what the game has to offer. Right now, I'm here. Here. And first, let's check out this place because I haven't discovered that waypoint yet. Um, my character is a human slash mesmer slash I have no idea illusionist. Um, and a really chaotic one. I haven't read any manuals or uh, description about the game, about the characters, about the characteristics or anything, so I just randomly um, uh, put in skills and just see what they have. I have uh, two swords and uh, stuff and uh, let's, let's fight. So I have a bunch of skills, which are um, the main main skills are these, I guess, and these are based on what uh, weapon I'm using. If I change, they, they will change too. Right now I'm on the swords, and um, why can't I hit this bastard? Um, so anyway. Um, the swords, swords are for massive damage, as you can see, I really pawned that one, and if I change the stuff, this is for survival, so if I get to an emergency, I just switch back to the stuff and create a bunch of uh, illusions, so I will save, maybe I can heal myself and do some damage with the uh, storm which I don't know the name of the skills Chaos Storm, so it's right about the storm part So anyway, um, here's some copper, let's, let's gather it uh, because I am a weaponsmith slash uh, jeweler and I need a lot of copper let's switch back to the swords and um, right now this area is uh, quite low level for me but uh, here's a bunch of copper but like I said I need really badly and I can see some more here there we go. so whoa ah uh, if you don't know this game there are no quests but um, random events that you can encounter while adventuring and right here is one of them it's a group event right right now I'm a party but uh, my friends are offline so I'm uh, I've been playing all night and all day that's why I'm uh, so high level right now I started the game like half a day ago and I, I've been playing non-stop so that's that's why 
I maybe sound a bit tired and a bit nervous because uh, this is my first English video as I said a bunch of times before and uh, I'd like to take the opportunity and ask every single one of you if my pronunciation or grammar or anything is wrong please tell me please I beg you correct me because oh, what's that it's 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 for the end so uh, please correct me if I say any, uh, anything wrong because I plan even more uh, English featured videos English related videos so I would be happy to do it properly as I should okay it seems that I have to uh, give those stuff to him and uh, if I do that this uh, bar will fill up and after that the event will be finished and we get a bunch of stuff like uh, experience, uh, money and um, karma which is a sort of money after you finish um, some um, wait, wait, let, let me explain so um, there are a bunch of symbols on the map and some of them are hearts and they can be filled if you finish them or blank um, and you have to uh, every heart have a specific area around them and uh, there's a person and um, you have to do stuff for him or her in order to fill in the heart and uh, after that uh, you unlock a shop where you can buy stuff with uh, karma these uh, items are better than the regular money stuff things and it seems that the server is frozen because I can't attack in that case this is a short video so I hope that it oh yeah it it just happened so I think try to log in again item connecting uh, so those items in the in the shops are uh, better but they cost you karma which is harder to get only at uh, events and I guess the main story gives you some too but I'm not sure because I uh, didn't really go into the main story I've been just wondering like so on by the web it seems that connecting won't get me anywhere so I'll be back in a minute alright I'm back and um, whatever so uh, it seems that another event has started while I was offline and I have to help someone escape but as you can see there was a bunch of other players too and uh, they're all participating in the event and I have a different weapon and skill set under water which is cool so uh, there are a bunch of other players at the event but uh, you don't have to worry about sharing the loot because uh, everyone will get equally uh, money and experience and uh, karma well, based on uh, how much you participated in the event so if you just uh, join in the last minute you won't get as much as you would like if um, you were at the beginning but you'll get a fair share of uh, experience either way and I just learned another underwater skill um, you can uh, unlock skills if you use the weapon that uh, you need to of them <laughs> well, it, it was a bit confusing even for me so uh, let's say you get a sword for the first time and uh, you have no skills but if you use the sword 
the the skills will slowly unlock and the more you use it the better skills you get and there are a total of five skills for each weapon including the main attack so uh, here appeared a medal or icon or whatever you want to call it and uh, three numbers next to it uh, the experience the karma and the money and if you click on it you will get it and it won't be in the way and um, I was talking about the hearts uh, here is actually one it's shown like this and uh, it will give you information about uh, what you have to do to uh, fill the bar right now I have to defeat our uh, uh, nah. so I have to defeat the underwater monsters and bring them here and basically rescue their slaves but I won't do this because um, I want Oh wait, I've been going the wrong way. Or oh, ah, damn it! So I want to go down. Uh, south would be more specific. So I'm gonna go south and check out that waypoint. And on the way, let's kill some various monsters and um, there is another cool thing about uh, this game that I haven't met in uh, any um, multiplayer games yet that um, let me show it on the stuff so if I start casting a spell and move it won't interrupt the spell but continue to cast and I find it amusing that you can actually run around and dodge uh, the enemies while casting a spell. I technically dodging uh, interrupts it, but um, most of the spells are um, quite fast to cast for uh, the illusionist anyway. I don't know about the elementalist and the any other casts or classes, sorry, um, but the Mesmer slash elementalist, that I'll call it, is quite cool. So right now I have to cross the water. All right. Actually, I'm playing on uh, the lowest graphic settings I could just get because uh, my computer isn't as good as I want it to and soon I will have to buy some new parts in it. But uh, let's, let's revive this, this NPC. Actually, uh, I won't. I hope I won't show it. Uh, but if you die, you won't just die, but go on a state like in the Left 4 Dead games, where you can actually fight back. And uh, if your um, teammates are around and or uh, you're uh, scared enough, you can actually get back on the field. Battlefield. And there are a bunch of players, so I won't go there because I would get epic frame rate losses. But it seems I have to because there is the waypoint. No, actually, it's, it's and where is the waypoint? It shows that it's here, but. Oh wait, this is oh, it's, it's all the way there. This is just a um, small like um, the 
the small um, squares show various uh, ruins or small villages um, whatsoever. And I see some more uh, copper, but there are spiders. Why am I using the stuff? Swords, not swords. Ah, much better. And actually, uh, what I find awesome too that I just go and uh, keep pressing the attack button, it will perform the skill. So if you don't select the enemy but go near and attack, uh, you can like move and slash, and it. It's not so important, but I find it amazing, like it's real combat or something, I I just like the roleplay. Also you can uh, dodge attacks like uh, fire, breath or anything. Oh, I need it for weapons, but Actually, I should get uh, the copper. I don't feel like it. I can stay. There are some more. I'll get that. Uh, so like I was saying, I was, I was, I I still am uh, playing on the lowest graphics settings. So if you have a high-end performance uh, computer, the graphics will be much much better, and so the effects and everything. I've seen videos on YouTube that are on uh, maximum graphics and I have to admit I almost got an ergasm. Those videos are freaking epic. Actually I haven't seen too much because um, I don't really want to learn about the game. It's, it's not the same experience when you uh, get in and already know everything about it, or you have to like um, discover things. It's, it's part of the gaming for me. So, anyways, um, this area looks rather cool. I'm not really into jungles, but it's, it's quite good. Actually, where am I going? Wait, I'm going back where I already was. But um, these are uh, skill points that you can earn with. Was it? All right. So uh, you have to fulfill a challenge or just grab the skill points in rare cases. But usually, you have to fight uh, something in order to get them and. Uh, these are just that, skill points. You can uh, spend them later on, like just to level up without actually level upping. Wow. Oh wait, undead attackers. Oh, I'm interested, but I'm more interested in copper. It seems that uh, some players are actually here. Because yeah, they're they're already fighting. Oh god! Oh my! Oh my god! Bunch of losses. Oh damn it! God! All right, I I have to get out of the the main point. Oh wow! Oh they they're coming! They're coming! Ah! Ah! I I miss them. Well, anyways, um, let's cast a bunch of illusions, and they do the work. Actually, not all of them, but uh, there are some illusions that actually can harm enemies, like uh, the. Actually, it's a warlock. It's not a mage warlock. It. Uh, shoots <laughs> magic projectiles at them and also the 
double swords. Oh, they haven't suspended. So the uh, double swords already have a uh, swordsman, which does pretty high damage. Let, let, let me show you. So I, I let it attack, and wow, what what happened? What? Oh my God! I'm I'm about to just die. So that's when I do this and switch to the stuff and escape. But it not too much of an escape if I die by doing it. So god damn it. Uh just some more minutes and I can heal. Let me heal, let me heal. Oh thank god. God, so much lag, so much lag. God damn. Alright, we are cool, cool. Uh, so, let me just explain what the skills are for. This one uh, will create a clone right where I was standing, and I can't see it now, maybe because I'm out of combat, but. Um, the clone will um, like shoot projectiles, won't uh, do any damage, but it ca can confuse enemies and um, they usually uh, take some hit to take down an illusion, so it's it's kind of like a real um, player. I don't know what about PvP because I hate PvP in games. So yeah, well. Right now they just one hitted, but whatever. So um, that was the first skill. Actually, the second, the first skill is the auto attack, but I, I don't really consider it a skill. Uh, the third one, which is basically the second one for me, I'm casting it right now. It creates a warlock, which takes one hit. Uh, it's not a really good place to. No, no, no. Here, here, here it is. Here it is. No, it's just a clone of me. What the hell? What's happening? So, anyways, uh, this skill casts a warlock, which will uh, hurt the enemies. Uh, the fourth one is a magic barrier of some sort. It will give you uh, random effects and. Yeah, it, it gives you random effects. The last one is uh, this area of effect storm thing, and I just participated in an event without knowing about it. Uh, so that's why I, I like the skills of the stuff. You can basically run away in every situation, you can dodge every mob, or I. I don't know how to say it properly, so I, I just call them monsters. You you can get along every situation, like like a boss, like a ninja to be exact. Um, but the swords are more uh, more of the thing for me because the high damage. Actually, they can't really hit me with um, the swords and stuff combo. I go in, do some damage, then if the enemy isn't already dead, I'll just switch the stuff and go back a little bit. Why the clones do the work? Well, uh, yeah, so I, I uh, what I said before about uh, moving while um, spamming the auto attack, this fella just just took a fire breath all over me, but because I'm really clever and I was moving, I dodged some of it. <laughs> That's quite a good tactic, I say. And uh, what you, you just saw, uh, the enemies, the monsters in the game, they also fight against each other. So uh, there are uh, get the map. I guess about uh, 
here some uh, birch tree elephant things which are against pretty much anything alive every wild boar, bear and various things will attack them even spiders if they get the chance so that's that's kinda awesome too I say and I saw some so I, I, I saw it I still see it so I see some copper over here but I'm not sure how to get to it maybe this way yeah yep and here yep uh, actually uh, there is one thing that's bugging me and it's about mining and gathering stuff that you have to actually carry around a lot of pickaxes and and um, sickles and axes to uh, gather so every time you mine something it will take away a pickaxe every time you chop down a tree it will take away your axe and I don't really get what the point of that is the items could just have a durability bar but no they they you need a brand new pickaxe to mine every single bit of uh, copper and you need a brand new axe to chop down every single tree and I just leveled up by uh, discovering the waypoint so I'll show you how to well, level up uh, there are uh, three uh, parts of the menu the weapon skills which you can unlock like I said uh, by using the weapon you can't put uh, any point on them you can just, just inspect them see what they are see what they form the slot skills uh, the second part of the hotbar it's uh, slowly unlocking on I guess the the 10th, the 15th, the 20th and the 13th level and uh, you can put these skills which you can unlock by spending the skill points you get, I, if I'm right, uh, every, every level up means 1 point and every challenge is 1 point so you have to really be clever about spending it uh, right now I have the second tier, uh, some of the second tier unlocked because I didn't really want to but you have to unlock uh, five in every tier to get to the next tier and uh, every tier is uh, more expensive like it's just one uh, skill point, it's three and there are six and actually I think I'll get the mirror images once I get enough um, skill points because it will uh, instantly um, summon two uh, clones, two illusions and they'll attack the enemies I, I don't know if uh, they do any damage or not but uh, there are these uh, functions uh, you can just uh, tell the illusions what to do, like uh, go suicide or I don't know, uh, confuse the enemies or uh, stun the enemies or I don't really know, evade the attacks so um, well, I'll, I'm usually using the first one so I'm just uh, suicide bombing the enemies with, with the clones and it's 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 pretty good I, I say um, actually there are whoa what's going on uh, so there are passive uh, skills too like these these are I don't know how to uh, pronounce them properly like sig signets maybe um, they have a passive and an active ability um, uh, the passive ability for this one 
is uh, el administered with other one. So uh, every 10 second I get a boon, which is actually a buff, like here, and uh, it's it's pretty much random, like fast running, strength, armor, whatever you can imagine. The other one is uh, improving the effect of that, the length, the strength of the um, boon, and whatsoever. And if you look uh, carefully, you can see that my yeah right now right now the my HP just went down like with 200 maybe 300. That's because the game is challenging no matter what your level is because as you can see it has uh, his two numbers uh, green four with um, arrow and uh, 19 19 is my actual level and the other one is um, how much my level is on this place like uh, these enemies are really, really really low level for me I would just one hit them if I was um, 19 I mean level 19 but like you see I'm kinda nerfed and I fight like I was just uh, level 4 I don't really understand why but well, it, it, it makes the games more challenging I wouldn't put this function in if I were the uh, developer but you know it's, it's just something you have to live with And um, actually, uh, one of my friends, he knows pretty much everything about the game, and um, he told me something like uh, the first, leaving the first levels, reaching like um, level five, is equally as hard as reaching level eighty, which is the max. But I uh, sort of consider through um, uh, how do I say this properly like uh, the XP bar is is pretty much going with the same speed but uh, on a low level you can do less things while uh, it fills up but it takes more time and on the other hand while you're high level it takes less time to do, like, um, to kill some mobs, some monsters, sorry. Um, and I, it's kind of like that, I, I just found another waypoint. But uh, I, I don't know what I'm talking about anymore, so I guess I'll end up this session. I don't know if there will be any more uh, English Guild Wars that will be like um, music montages and stuff but well it, the English um, episodes will depend on if if there are actually any uh, viewers that that would match it I have viewers that can understand it but I'd like to, you know, expand the channel, like to different um, countries, and English is a pretty known language. So I'll start by that with that. Damn. So I'll see you guys next time.